Let's take a minute and talk about how to socialize your dog. There's a lot of old wives tales out there about uh, how people think you should take your dog out and have it meet and interact with strangers, meet and interact with uh, strange dogs, other dogs, play with other dogs, and nothing could be further from the truth. Our goal in how to socialize a dog is to get our dog to feel comfortable being in the presence of people, places, and things. The way we do that is starting from a young age or if we uh, get an older dog, a rescue dog, our goal is to take that dog out and have it focus on us and feel comfortable in new people, in new places, uh, in the presence of people. And the way we do that is using high value food rewards. So what we'll do is take our dog someplace with high value food rewards, which we're gonna talk about later uh, in the training course, and we'll take it to a new location and we'll get that, we'll feed, 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 feed that dog so it's totally focused and totally engaged on us. We don't allow strange people to feed our dogs. We don't allow strange people to touch and pet our dogs. When we do the training on our socialization, we'll set it up so we'll go someplace and, and we'll tell somebody, please, don't touch the dog, don't talk to the dog, and don't look at the dog. Just totally, totally ignore the dog. And when we do that, we engage our dog by feeding, 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 so that we want our dogs to relax in a new location. We want our dogs to look at uh, strange people as pieces of furniture. They totally ignore them and look at us. Now, if we're out socializing our dog and there's a loud noise, if we have a timid dog or a little nervous dog, if there's a loud noise and the, and the dog startles, we totally ignore it. We act like we were deaf to it. And when the dog looks back at us, we feed, 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 and the dog eventually is gonna say, oh, well, there was nothing to that noise. I don't have anything to worry about. Now, on the other hand, if the dog startles and then looks at us and won't take a high value food reward, then we have passed that dog's threshold for stress and we will back away. In other words, we'll get further away from the environment or the item that startled the dog. We'll get to the point and we look for the point of where the dog will take food, high value food now, and again, we're gonna talk about high value foods later in the course, but where the dog will take food after it's been exposed to some new distraction of some kind. So again, our goal is to get the dog to focus and engage on us in new environments, in the presence of other dogs, in the presence of strangers. If you can do that, you have a well-socialized dog. What I would recommend is I have a complete article uh, that we've written on our website and we've uh, made it part of this course on how to socialize a puppy, but the same concepts apply to how to socialize an adult dog.